Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and uh, Sunday morning, beautiful day here in Northeast Missouri. And, uh, you know, Sundays, Amazon still comes, just got a package in and uh, kind of excited about it. We have some peacock eggs that we're going to incubate. Uh, long story, our peacock that we've had for 17 years uh, passed away. We had a coon problem and a raccoon had got in and gotten him. But the hen, right afterwards, popped out a couple of eggs, which the eggs will still be good for, I think it's up to about a week afterwards. So we're hoping to at least get part of a legacy with him. We're getting ready to build a uh, peafowl enclosure. Uh, going to be starting on that here in just a, just a couple hours, actually. But went to get our incubator and uh, hadn't had much luck this year. Turns out the egg turner on it was bad. And I uh, haven't been able to find a replacement motor that works with it. I've ordered about four or five different ones. So... Uh, Order a small incubator, that way we can kind of get going and start hatching these. Pretty, fairly cheap one. Pick this up off of uh, Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And as we're going along, we'll uh, you know kind of look into how it's going, what the hatch rate is. Because there's so many of like different incubators out there. You never know which ones are good and which ones are basically crap. So let's pull that out of the box, take a look at it. What we got here. Now this is uh, pretty interesting. Take the paper off of it. This is, uh, I guess, set up if you're running off of uh, solar power. You've got your regular plug-in, but it also comes with a plug-in. You can run it off your car, your boat. Your solar power would be my guess what these are for. I've never seen these with an incubator, but I guess solar is getting a little more popular, a lot of homesteaders, so uh, not, a, not a bad option. But we have this. We've got the little water bottles that go in to make sure that uh, you're filling it up and staying hydrated. Well, you're not saying hydrated, but the eggs are. And then it looks like we have a base. Some weird quarter pieces. We have three corner pieces. That's uh, a little odd. Instructions. Looks like this is going to be a little bit of assembly required, but hey, that's fine. I've been known to assemble things before and it does not want to come out of the styrofoam so I guess we're just going to break that for the base. This thing are good. And voila, there we are. So from looking at it, I'll double check with the instructions. I'm guessing you put your little pad down. You've got some little rollers here. And it looks like they just pop in. I guess there are uh, there's several different slots depending on what size eggs you're using. So we're going to do maybe every other one. That should use all of them. And that should be probably about the right size for... The pea fowl eggs. Got your top, just pops on, hook it up and get going. So I'm gonna take this inside, gonna take a look at, uh, hook it up, take a look at it, see how easy it is to operate, go through the instruction manual. And like I said, we've got some pea fowl eggs, actually have some pheasant eggs that I've ordered off of eBay that should be in any time now as well. We're gonna try to hatch with these so uh, let's get it set up and see what it looks like okay so we've got it set up and it's coming up to temperature uh, a couple things that I did notice with this incubator 
Uh, one is that it was preset to 100.5 degrees, which most eggs need to be at 99.5, but uh, just hit the button that says set and you can set it. So I've got it powering up and we're going to see if it's going to, you know, stay at that. Also, uh, there's no button for the egg turner. It said it will turn them every 90 minutes automatically that there's nothing to do. So I'm going to put maybe a little mark on one of them and give it a little time, give it about 90 minutes and see if uh, it does turn that. Uh, the other thing is there is no humidity monitor on there. A lot of these, most of these that I've had, uh, have the temperature and humidity monitor. This does not, so I'm going to probably get one and keep in there just to be safe. It just said to uh, add water every two days, but need to be a little more precise on the humidity when it comes to hatching eggs. So I'm going to figure out some kind of humidity monitor that'll kind of fit in there. If need be, I'll take one of the rollers out so it'll fit in. And then the instructions were a little confusing on one thing. It said, uh, do not throw the styrofoam to help maintain temperature. So I don't know if you're supposed to leave the styrofoam around the base, but then all the pictures of them showing it working does not have the styrofoam around it. So again, I'm going to, I guess, kind of monitor this, uh, wait an hour or two before I put any eggs in and see what happens. If it's holding temperature, I mean, we're keeping it inside because uh, having having lost our, our big guy, I mean, he was kind of like a mascot of our farm. So, you know, I definitely want to try to make these eggs hatch if possible. Uh, so we're, you know, really kind of focused on that. Uh, also, the cord is very short. So uh, if you're not close to an outlet, you know, you got to need a uh, extension cord to run to it. Much shorter than many of the others that I've had. But, I mean, all in all, it doesn't look like a bad setup. It was cheap. It was like $39. So, uh, you know, maybe I get what I pay for, but... Like I said, the egg turner on my other one was bad, and we weren't getting a good hatch rate, so I figure, let me get this so I can go ahead and start hatching, and then try to find the parts I need to fix the other, and then from here on out, I'll have two. But that's where we're at so far. We're going to wait a couple hours. I'm going to put a little mark on one of the rollers, see if it does turn in 90 minutes, see if it holds temperature. And in about an hour and a half, uh, if everything's okay, I'm going to go ahead and start adding eggs. So it's been a couple hours. It's still holding temperature. I went to try to pick up a humidity monitor, and uh, no place around me sells them. I'm in a small town, so it's pretty much Walmart or a farm and home, and yeah, no luck. So I'll pick one up when I go to work tomorrow. I'm going to be kind of flying blind. Hopefully they shouldn't make that much difference. It's got humidity in there. Hopefully it's enough. And I've got my eggs. And I went with all of them. I've got an X on one side and an O on the other side, plus today's date, which is July 9th. That way I can make sure that the eggs are being rotated uh, by looking at it, making sure, you know, it's all X's or all O's that they're, you know, it is changing. So I'm going to pop them in here, and uh, hopefully in 29 days we're going to have some pea chicks running around. And I'll give you updates uh, as a month goes on.